Hey folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho. What you're looking at here, if you've been following, is the timing components for the 5.4 liter Triton engine uh, on the Ford Expedition. So this is a 2005 Ford Expedition. It has the infamous 5.4 liter Triton engine that started knocking. We have catastrophic engine failure. A lifter grenaded itself along with the valve and everything else. So we're gonna do everything we can to put a band-aid on this vehicle so we can take it back to the dealership and get rid of it. Um, I'm not telling you don't buy a Ford. I'm telling you don't buy a Ford with a 5.4 liter Triton. Uh, between 2004 to 2010, they produced this three valve engine. This engine, this engine was was discontinued in 2010. They still have a 5.4 liter engine and it doesn't have all this extra VVT stuff on it and all that other junk that causes this engine to fail. But uh, just stay away from the 5.4 liter Triton. All right, okay, so, uh, so I am now ready to take the timing chains off and do all that other good stuff. So I'm gonna put you on my head here and the first thing I've done, if you watch the other video concerning top dead center and setting this engine per top dead center, uh, top dead center per the, the harmonic balancer, then once I've done that and I pulled the, the harmonic balancer off and I pulled my timing cover off, I'm left with my keyway and then I'm left with a mark down here, as you can see. And this is how I know with this mark down here at six o'clock, and my keyway at the 11, 12 o'clock position, I know that uh, my engine is set to where it needs to be before I remove the, uh, the timing chains. Now this engine is an interference engine. So if you do not set this engine accordingly before you start taking things apart, you take the chance of messing up your valves and your pistons by making contact with them as you turn this engine over and stuff you'll have pistons and valves inside of here that'll hit each other and you'll end up destroying your engine there really is no room for error when it comes to doing the the timing and the chains on an engine like this but you know it can be a little intimidating but it's no big deal so let's get to work the first thing i want to do is i want to remove and protect that's the reason why I have the plastic bags out my VVT solenoids and that's gonna be these guys right here and this is a valve that's hydraulically and electronically controlled and it allows oil and other stuff to go through and con controls all parts of the timing and variable valve timing is what VVT stands for so you're going to use a T on, on the Ford 5.4 liter, you're going to use a T27 Torx bit and you're just going to pull that out of there. And as you can see, it has a screen and you can see, see the little piston in there. All right, you're going to want to, I'm going to put you back on my head, be very careful with this guy and I like to protect them. Stick them in a baggie. This way you know no junk's gonna get inside of there. And set it in the back. All right. I got a little bit of a runny nose today, that's for sure. And same with the other side here. T27 Torx bit. Once you get it loose, there's no resistance. Pull it straight out. And get it protected. Sometimes I wish I had uh, four or five arms and hands. And actually what I'm thinking about doing is getting a tripod so that way I can put a tripod with a camera and then you can see everything 
that's going on underneath the hood. I've yet to use a tripod and go that route. All right, well, Ruby, stay here. Now that you've got your VVT solenoids out of the way, you're good there. Let's, um, let's go ahead and get our timing chain loose. Now remember, I've already double checked my timing on my crankshaft, okay? And what I've done ahead of time before I started the video was I took my air gun and I held my cams in place and I, and I loosened my phasers right here. And so on the 5.4 liter Triton, if you have cam phasers, go ahead and loosen them, all right? Okay, so the next step after removing your VVT solenoids and loosening your cam phasers, double check your timing. And let's go ahead and get our tensioners out of the way. And I'm using a 10 millimeter socket. And I set those aside. When you're done with this, you're gonna have a big oily pile of parts, that's for sure. Okay, so you notice that cam spun. Don't freak out if that happens, all right? We're changing the camshafts and all that other stuff. So when we put all this back together, there's going to be a special procedure in order to do that, which is going to involve loosening these cams, making sure all the valves are up, resetting this engine, and uh, it's going to be interesting how we do that. So I'll make sure to make a video to show you that. All right. So yeah, don't freak out. Anytime you're, you're doing anything that has variable valve timing on it, 
don't freak out if your cam moves a little bit or if it spins. There is a procedure to get it all back together. And so there's one chain. And I've, I've, I've actually had friends working with me. Nissan and Toyota is well known for VVT. And I've had friends working with me. And we've had that happen before. And they've, uh, yeah, they flipped out. <laughs> oh my gosh, Matt, what just happened? Said, Don't flip out. We'll, we'll uh, reset and find timing when we put it all back together. And if it wasn't for the amount of damage that happened upon lifter failure, uh, all this stuff that I'm taking off is going to be replaced brand new. And I'm going to go ahead and put it all back in there. Brand new since I, since I have it. We do want this thing to at least run decent enough so we can, you know, properly and honestly trade it in. And there's one cam phaser. And a lot of times if you have a major failure on a cam phaser, it'll be this pin inside of here. I find it interesting that this is the damaged... This is the damaged side. I'll tell you something, that cam phaser does not want to come off of there. You saw, obviously, how easy the other one came off. So, I'm not going to bother with that too much. That cam phaser not wanting to come off of there. Alright. Grab my wrench here. Okay. And our last guide rail here. And there you have it. Like I said, you'll end up with a large pile of oily parts. And so these are your guide rail tensioners, right and left. These are guide rails. These are your tensioner guide rails. Ugh. Oh man, look at that. Ah, nasty. That's bad wear and tear. I'm gonna tell you something, that's really bad for premature 100,000 miles. This is just a bad engine, man. Here, here's your proof, internally. Premature wear and tear on this stuff. That's really not in bad shape. So my next problem to address is why this cam phaser doesn't want to come off too, too easy. And that's that.
So there you have it folks. This is the Triton 5.4 liter engine with the timing chains removed. If you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, I'll do my best to get back to them. As I'm talking to you, I'm kind of peeking at stuff. And what I need to really do next is get a towel and close up that oil hole. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, checking out this engine and taking the timing chains off of it. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.